Okay, what's up, you guys? Like I said, I told you I was going to come back once I found the clip of uh, Paul Williams getting knocked out. And uh, so I just found the clip on YouTube um, in a matter of seconds. And, and this is what I picked up from, from, from looking at the video maybe, from, from looking at the clip maybe uh, five times, okay? Uh, I'm going to start out with uh, Paul Williams, all right? Uh, Paul Williams, he was dropping, Paul, he was dropping his jab. And um, also, he was uh, reaching in. Like, you're not supposed to reach in, you're supposed to step in, and he was reaching in. And then, uh, his feet was crossing. Um, well, the clip that I saw, it just showed, like, a couple of seconds right before the knockout. And, uh, his, uh, his, uh, left, uh, foot was crossing a little bit. Not crossing bad, but it was still crossing, which is still a no-no. And, uh, he was, uh, threw his punch, uh, right before he got hit with the knockout punch. He was throwing a punch from, uh, from that image. He was throwing a punch from down here. He threw it low, and that's why you gotta keep your hands up. Cause like if you throw it low, you come over top, and that's what happened. Uh, Sergio came over top while um, throwing a low punches. That's why you gotta keep your hands up. But uh, yeah, he also telegraphed the punch too. Um, um, he, he he telegraphed what punch he was gonna do, and Sergio was able to capitalize off of that. But I spent the most of the time watching Paul to try to catch his mistakes. And I went back and I was looking at Sergio. And what I noticed was that uh, when he threw that punch, if like y'all go back and look at it. I don't know how long it's going to be up on YouTube before uh, HBO get it taken down. Um, but if you go back and look, uh, try watching it tomorrow or something like that. Um, Sergio threw that punch. It was like a no-look punch. Like just like when uh when uh when Manny Pacquiao had hit Ricky Hatton and he threw the punch and his head was down, like not even looking, it was like a punch well I hope it lands. That's what it seemed like uh Sergio threw. He just his head was down like I'ma throw it and just hope it lands. Um a lot of times you might see that when people they're hurt for like out of a desperation shot, but that just seemed like a punch he just threw and it looked like he hoped it land. Uh, from watching Sergio's uh foot um foot movement, he didn't look all that good. But I'm a, I'm gonna go out and make a prediction here. I think that uh if the fight between Floyd and Manny Pacquiao don't get going, I think uh Floyd might fight Sergio Martinez. Um, the reason why I'm not saying that uh Manny Manny won't fight him, but uh the reason why I, th I think that fight will happen before is because uh. I know uh, I seen some stuff on the internet. Uh, Bernard Hopkins had made some comments about uh, Manny Pacquiao not fighting top elite black fighters, and I seen how uh, that they were going to talking about getting him in some black fighters next. And uh, they had Shane Mosley, Floyd Mayweather, Andre Berto, and I think Tim Bradley or uh, that Alexander dude or whatever. Um, the winner of, of the, those two fights. I don't think uh, maybe those two would be ready. Uh, I don't know about Andre Berto. I'm a, I'm a big Berto fan. I don't see how, like, I think a lot of people discredit him sometimes. Like, I don't I don't think, after seeing his last performance, uh, I, uh, I, had to, I, had to, I had to do some more thinking about that one. Um, I know Shane ain't going to beat him up. Uh, Manny probably knocked Shane out. Shane, his feet is all like, if you go back and look at some of Shane's fights, Shane's feet are, is all over the place. One foot be over here and the other foot over there. And just, just go back and look at some of his fights. You'll see what I'm talking about. Like, his feet are all, all over the ring, all over the ring. Like, they have a mind of their own. But, yeah, so, uh, and also Floyd Mayweather. I think uh, that might be a good fight. But uh, if that one don't happen, um, they was talking about fighting um, any of those three or four other black people. But yeah, uh, I think if the fight between Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather don't happen, I think uh, the f I think uh, Shane. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think Sergio and Floyd might happen if a fight between them two don't happen, and also maybe a flo a fight between uh, Floyd. I mean, a fight between Manny and uh, Sergio. And also, I saw somewhere where it said. Uh, Sergio wasn't trying to fight Pacquiao or something like that. It was on Goose and Twitter, uh, Goose and Tutor Boxing. Like, I'm subscribed to them, so I get some of their boxing stuff. So, maybe hit up a subscription to them and you might see what I'm talking about. But, yeah, uh, I told you I was going to come back and do that real quick. 
But yeah, uh, check me out on YouTube as well. Gabriel Sweet Smith. G A B R I E L. Sweet S W E E T. Smith S M I T H. Check out some of my boxing stuff. Um, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get up there. Uh, my dad. Uh, he was a, a former Olympic boxer. Trained with uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, Pernell Whitaker, uh, whole, a whole list of people. I can't think of everybody right now. So, yeah, I'm trying to get up there. Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, I can't focus like I want to focus right now because I'm in college. And I wanted to, uh, I wanted to compete in the, uh, in the 2012 Olympics, but it's kind of hard to do uh, college and boxing at the same time. So, right now, I'm going to try to finish college. So, that way, uh, with boxing don't work, I have something to fall back on. But as soon as I get out, my main, is, my main focus is going to be on um, boxing. So, uh, Hopefully, you'll be able to see me in the ring, some professional stuff. So, uh, yeah, check me out. Once again, Gabriel Sweet Smith, G-A-B-R-I-E-L-S-W-E-E-T-S-M-I-T-H, Gabriel Sweet Smith. And, yes, Sweet is actually my middle name. No joke. Like, other people, like, their stuff is not their real name. Like, only one that I know has a real name that's a something is Rocky Juarez. Like, his middle name is really Rocky. And, like, my middle name is really Sweet. A lot of people don't believe that. But, yeah, check me out, please.